This video is going to show how to optimize circuits by automatically identifying the ideal component values to achieve your desired functionality in PSPICE Designer Plus. Fine-tuning component values manually can be tedious and can lengthen the time spent on simulation, which may push your project off schedule. With optimization in PSPICE Designer Plus, you can accelerate this process and automatically identify the ideal purchasable component value. Start by opening PSPICE Designer Plus. We will use a demo design for this example. If you don't have access to this design, you can download it from the how-to webpage. Select File, Open Demo Designs from the menu. The Open Demo Designs window opens. Scroll down and select RF Amplifier. Click Open to open the design. We need to run a simulation before optimization can be performed. Two simulation profiles are defined for this example. In the Project Manager, under Simulation Profiles, verify that Schematic 1 AC is highlighted in green, indicating that it is the active profile. If Schematic 1 AC is not the active profile, right-click and select Make Active. To start the simulation, select PSPICE Run from the menu. The PSPICE AD window opens to show the AC sweep results. The output noise from 1 kHz to 1 GHz is plotted. With the simulation run and plotted, we need to define a measurement to optimize. To define a measurement, select View, Measurement Results from the menu. The Measurement Results subpanel opens. Select Click Here to evaluate a new measurement to create a new measurement. Select Measurements from the Functions or Macros dropdown. For this example, we'll measure the maximum decibel value of the load voltage. Select Max 1 from the Measurements list. Select Analog Operators and Functions from the Functions or Macros dropdown and select DB from the list. Select VLOAD from the Simulation Output Variables list. Click OK to add the measurement to the table. The measurement is added and the value is calculated. Let's add another measurement. Select Click here to evaluate a new measurement again. Copy the measurement expression from the How-To web page and paste it into the Trace Expression box. Click OK to add the measurement. You can do this to quickly add any number of measurements to the table. Each time you add a measurement, its value is calculated. With all of the measurements defined, close the PSPICE AV window. With measurements defined, we can now run and configure the optimizer. Back in the schematic canvas, select PSPICE Advanced Analysis Optimizer from the menu. If the PSPICE Advanced Analysis Product Choices window opens, select the appropriate license and click OK. The PSPICE Advanced Analysis window opens to the Optimizer panel. In the Specifications Next Run subpanel, ensure that all measurements defined in PSPICE were imported. If any measurements are missing, select Click Here to import a measurement created within PSPICE. In the Import Measurements window, hold Control and select the missing measurements. Click OK. Each cell for each measurement can be adjusted to change the type of measurement, minimum, maximum, and weight. For this example, we'll make the bandwidth measurement our goal and all other measurements constraints. With the measurements defined, we need to define the components we will be adjusting. In the Parameters table, select Click Here to import a parameter from the Design Property Map. The Parameters Selection component window opens. Scroll down to the component values. Hold Control and select R8, R6, and R4 from the list. These component values will be varied during the simulation. Click OK to add the values as parameters. Before we run the optimizer, let's run the minimum and maximum values for these components. Set the minimum and maximum values for each resistor as provided. With the measurements and parameters defined, we are ready to run the optimizer. Select Run Start Optimizer from the menu. The optimizer runs and plots the result on the error graph. If the optimizer is able to converge on a solution, each line will approach zero. In this case, optimization was run successfully. These optimized values can be rounded to the nearest purchasable component values to make the design bill of materials easier to fill. To do this, select Discrete from the Simulation Engine dropdown. The Discrete Table column is added to the Parameter Table. For this example, select Resistor 5% from the dropdown for each component. Select Run Start Optimizer again to rerun optimization. The value of each resistor is changed to the nearest purchasable value. Let's migrate these new values to the schematic canvas. Minimize the advanced analysis window. 
Back in the schematic, double click the value for R8 to change it. Enter 3.57 for the value and click OK. Double click the value for R6 and set it to 698. Double click the value for R4 and set it to 240. With the resistor values updated, let's rerun the simulation to verify the changes. Select PSPICE Run from the menu. View the plot and measurements below it. The bandwidth increased as desired and the other measurements stayed within specifications. Quickly optimize circuits by automatically identifying the ideal purchasable component values to achieve your desired functionality with the optimizer in PSPICE Designer Plus. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.ema-eda.com and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.